I heard of the wild hog man when I was searching in the Ninth Ward. The Ninth Ward was devastated by Hurricane Katrina. With most of its houses damaged and much of the area overgrown, it's the first place you would look for all things wild. But I'm here for hogs. Following Katrina, there were reports that hogs swam nearly two miles to higher ground here, and soon after started rooting up the hurricane levees. Law enforcement officials were sent out to control the population. It's said they could have shot a hundred hogs without making a dent. But finding one on my own isn't so easy. Do you know anything about wild boar? Back down the levee. Oh, the levee? You saw some wild boar by the yeah, levee? Yeah, you saw them. We call them wild hogs. Wild, wild hogs? Yeah. They're going to come out late, late in the evening, early, early in the morning. Yeah. Uh, you ain't going to see them, but not too hot. Yeah, yeah, the wall went to the end by Florida Walk. Yeah. Without camping, go up on there, you might get lucky and see something back there. All right. That's for a guy named Johnny. Johnny? OK. Thanks a lot. Any wild things in here, too? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I think he thinks this is a different kind of show. He keeps asking me if I'm going to be doing wild things all night long. <laughs> That's a nice neighborhood. What are you going to do in here? This is not at all what I was expecting. Do I have the right Johnny? About you keep that meter running. OK, this makes more sense. If only I were searching for dead deer. You got a bunch of dead stuff in here. It's just another day at the office. You might have heard that before. I have heard that before. Uh, look, this is what's out there at the airport. Red tails? Apparently, John's main gig is clearing the runways at the airport of any animals that might get in the way of landing planes. And, uh, and these were caught in, the area, in that same area, too. Are there that many boars? We might get them tonight. We really got a great chance tonight. We really, really do. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's go see some hogs. Nearly 8 million passengers come and go through this airport every year, and very few know that there are wild hogs running around on the airfield. Airports are often a threshold between the city and the wild because of where they're built. You know, you're riding along with me and it seems easy. But if you were to come out here by yourself, it can get really confusing and very, very dangerous. What's the biggest hazard with the wild boars out here? Well, this guy just came in. On the east-west runway, these approach lights lead the jet in, and the boars root up in that area, and they pop the cables that feed the power to the lights. So this guy could be coming in. All of a sudden, he sees the way, and then, bam, no lights. And when the airport was doing a runway check, they saw a really big one, and they chased it, and it got out, and it got away. Oliver! What's up, Cat Daddy? We seeing anything tonight? No, last night, though. Did, Did I tell you about it? Yeah, he told me the pilot called. I got everything set for him. Pilot called. I seen him on the runway. I tried to chase him, but it was muddy, and the car started slipping. Wow, we, we'll get him. Airport security confirms that a wild hog was seen on the airfield as recently as last night. It, this happened in Florida with uh, a fighter jet. They ran across the runway when the jet was taking off and the jet hit them, and it knocked the wheels off the jet, and so the plane was destroyed. And the guy ejected, and he lived. But if that was to happen out here, it would be really, really bad, really, really bad. I wouldn't want to be on that plane. John's got the entire perimeter rigged with traps that we need to check. This one's empty. Before we get to the hog cages on the far side of the airport. Check this out. Oh, See it's got babies. That is cool. Armadillos are common throughout the South, but it's still rare to see a new litter at the airport. Unique to mammals, some armadillos give birth to clones. The North American species always have litters of four babies that are the same sex. They're in luck, because they know the kind of threat. We'll just take them off and let them go. We got something over here. Because raccoons mainly scavenge, they rarely find their way onto the runways where food is scarce. 
he's more of a nuisance than a hazard, and he'll interfere with our trapping. Right, okay. We might take him off into that marsh about a mile away. All of the animals we've seen so far aren't a threat to planes. But now it's time to go see if John's caught the beast we're really after. Hogs happen to be my favorite. It's just fun to catch them. I just like to catch them. Not everybody thinks this stuff is fun. In South Carolina, research found that it takes an average of 29 man hours for each hog caught by trap. My favorite part of the deal is going to the trap, the excitement of, I might have one. Here we go, the door's down. We got some kind of action. No, nothing. It looks like the coon set the trap off. Yep. I really want to see a hog. Oh, you really want to see a hog, huh? Oh, yeah. What part of asking to see a hog didn't this guy understand? We can go across town, and we got a real good chance of seeing a really big one. Really? But it may look like I'm beating this hog up. They're pretty tough. They'll put up a fight. Yeah. You sure you want to see that? But I would really love I'll to see you. a hog. I'll call you. I'll call you and we'll meet up later. Ugh, major disappointment. But maybe there's a pig at the end of the tunnel, because John seems pretty sure about this other spot. The trapper John just called, uh -huh. and I need to go to one more boar hunt, so Where? it's way across the town, over the bridge. We got a long ways to go. Across the river? Across the river. Let's go. He's ready to hunt hogs in an exclusive development that may be home to a really big one. Trapper John works in some of New Orleans' wealthiest neighborhoods, and he's asked me not to disclose our next location. The people here pay money not to know what John is up to, which is one reason he works clandestinely by cover of night. John has set traps, and as an insurance policy, he brings his bow. After you, this is this your office? This is my field office, yeah. This is going to contain your scent. Odor eliminating technology. That's it. And it's going to stop you. Are you trying your to scent. tell me something, John? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that if these hogs catch a whiff of you, even if you smell good, you're going to be enchanted. If, they're not going to like you. Never in a million years did I think I'd be here. I am so not a hunter. I smell like nothing, and I am... see? I don't smell a thing. This may be the creepiest night of my life. This is the bow. This is what we're going to try to use. This is like an insurance policy. I'm not too eager to see John spear the pig if we find it. Oh, on that note, let's go catch let's a pig. Him. Right over here to your left, we're 100 yards away from the richest neighborhood in town. I mean, this is really close to where people live. Let's go over here. We got some hogs about 150 yards back. Let's see if we can find them. Oh, no, deja vu. I really hope John hasn't called me out here just to see more raccoons and possums. And he's off right over the bush. Unfortunately, some of the critters John's hired to trap. There he is. We got him. Don't always fare so well. It's unusual, but it happens. He's dead. Didn't take long. My dark night of terror continues. How many hogs do you figure you have back here? That could be a couple of hundred. Wow. And nationwide, there's four million of these things. I believe there's more. Wow. John set up a ground blind so he can get a good shot at the hog if it gets close. Yes, ma'am. We just got to be real quiet. We got to listen, and we're going to watch real closely. And if those things come over there by that corn, I'm going to stick an arrow right through them. This is not my dream date. Did you hear that? I hear that. I hear that. Hey, Andy, let's switch to night vision. Cut the light. OK.
after several minutes, the sounds are gone. John's convinced that something spooked the hogs. We have to track them by foot. Just very close, so we want to be as quiet as possible to try to sneak up without warning them, OK? You sound like Elmer Fudd. You have to be very, very quiet. We're hunting hogs. Look at all these tracks, Maria. Look at him. Now, that's a nice pig. That is a big one. Huge. That's a big pig. It's the length of my finger. And he's going to be right around here somewhere. When the tracks lead to a giant slop hole, John seems eager to wade through it. When the rains came, it filled up with water. The hogs kept eating. They've turned it into a slop hole. You don't want to fall into this. Hogs can host over 32 species of parasite, including scabies, hog lice, and tapeworms. And they carry something called the mad itch. Nasty soup. This is bad. This is nasty. And the smell of this will not come off of you. You can't wash it off. I'm going to take your word for it. We pick the track back up. All right, with the traps over there, the bait's over there. Yeah, let's try to sneak up as quiet as possible. You can hear the pigs over there. I can hear snorting coming from the direction of the water treatment plant just in front of us. And at this point, I'm hoping it is in the cage. There he is. He's in the trap. Oh, oh ah, he's huge. We got him. That is a huge hog. Well, that this thing is running around in, in this in you know this residential industrial area is is just unbelievable. I mean this thing is huge. And because it's understandably angry to be caught, it's exhibiting typical fight behavior. Uh, Look at the scars on him from fighting other boars. See that? Mm -hmm. That's what those are from. Those are scars from him fighting. Mm -hmm all the boars over this territory. So somewhere there's another boar. Chances are he's bigger. They'll fight bigger ones, and they'll lose. John says there may be a larger hog still out here, which is a frightening prospect. We're only a few hundred yards from a street full of sleeping families. It's such a bittersweet moment, because what's going to happen next is that this pig has to be killed. Because John's a professional trapper, his permit requires him to kill each hog he catches. I've never been hunting. I've never killed an animal. But I understand why it has to happen. These guys are aggressive animals, and they're wreaking havoc here. And it still sucks, man. <laughs> I can't lie. What you think? That was one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen. Really? In my life. You know, we never hurt him one bit, and if I give him another chance, he'll kill me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll close your pig up truck. Yes, ma'am. Whoa. Well, there you go. Did you catch that pig up truck? I got to. Yeah. <laughs> Well, be careful what you ask for. 